The U.S. Civil War occurred over 150 years ago and was the deadliest conflict in American history. Now, more than a century later, people are still debating the reasons for the war. VOA's Chris Simpkins has that story. These are the faces of black soldiers during the American Civil War. They are rare photographs of some of the 200,000 who fought in the Union Army against the Southern Confederacy. The pictures offer slices of life that many Americans may not be aware of. Stories like that of Adele Logan Alexander's great-grandfather, John Robert Bond. He was born in England in 1846. When he was 17 years old, hearing about the struggle for Africans' freedom in the United States, the story that my mother told me was that he uh, got on a fishing boat and came to Massachusetts because he wanted to help free the slaves. Adele Alexander is a historian. She says her great-grandfather joined the Union Navy and was almost killed in a battle. It's just one of the many facts Alexander uncovered about her family. She says her great-grandfather sacrificed to help future generations. What a remarkable thing that this boy in England who heard the debate over slavery would uh, disrupt himself from, from family there and cross an unknown ocean to, uh, to, to take this, this great step in his life and this great step which changed life for him and his, uh, and his descendants. And that inspired Alexander to write a book about the Bond family post-Civil War. Hardline segregation kicks in and uh, blacks are worse off in many instances than they were in the period immediately after the Civil War during the Reconstruction period. Starting in, oh, late 1800s, early 1900s, you begin to see the Great Migration North. And this was enormously disruptive to African Americans. Um, this was people who had been a peasant population, who had uh, lived on, on plantations, were, uh, were, were moving into modern industrialized cities, and they were very poorly equipped to, uh, to deal with the challenges of that, and that in turn caused new breakups of, of families, and I think that we're still seeing the results of this uh, today. During her research, Alexander learned more about her grandfather, Warren Logan, born into slavery in Virginia. He was born to a, uh, a woman whose name was Pocahontas, who was a, a slave, possibly of Native American background as well. And uh, his father was a white man, probably his, his owner. But like Booker T. Washington, he had the opportunity to go to school. Alexander says the Civil War not only freed the slaves, it empowered African Americans to take control of their lives. It has been a long and painful process, and I don't think that it's over because I think that we have legacies of racism and these economic disparities in, in our country. But certainly just ending the institution of, uh, of, of slavery was enormously important to, to this country. Alexander says the Civil War defined the United States as the most multiracial democracy in the world. But there's a downside. For example, at least half of African American children were being raised by a single parent, according to the 2005 census data. And black unemployment is at 15 and a half percent, almost double the national average. The Civil War itself was a part of the, the great le legacy of slavery in this country. And we still live with that every day. Benjamin Todd Jealous is president of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, or NAACP, the nation's oldest civil rights organization. The NAACP was founded by Republicans. It's the party of Lincoln. It has a great tradition of inclusion. And in this moment, we would hope that all people in this country would be using this as a moment of national reflection about the need for us to unite ourselves and move beyond old divisions. While many people share his hopes, others feel much needs to be done before the dreams that evolved after the Civil War become reality. Chris Simpkins, VOA News, Washington.